Good morning, guys. Welcome to sixth grade, chapter two, lesson 10. We are going to go ahead and get started with number two. So before we get started, I just want to point out to you that um, in some cases, we need to borrow just like we do when we're subtracting um, from a normal number. Um, and in order to do that with a fraction, you need to borrow something over something. So I just want to explain to you when we borrow, if our denominator that we need for the rest of our problem is a four, then four over four is the same thing as one. So when we borrowed one, four over four is that one. It could be one over one. It could be a thousand over, uh, over a thousand. It could be 20 over 20. It doesn't matter as long as it's one number over itself, okay? Any number over itself is equal to one, okay? So when we get started, okay, it says Sarah's craft project uses pieces of yarn that are one eighth yard long. She has a piece of yarn that is three yards long. How many one eighth yard pieces can she cut and still have one and a quarter yards left over? So we are going to start with the three yards that she has, and we're going to take away the one and a quarter because she wants that left over no matter what. So we need to find out how much is left before we can cut those into one eighth pieces. So whatever's left over, then we will divide into one eighth pieces. Okay? So first, you see, this is a fraction, and I don't have a fraction here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow one, making that a two, and this denominator right here is four, so I'm going to put a four over four, okay? This is equal to three. There's two, and then four over four is one, so all together, that's three. Now, minus one and one-fourth, because that didn't change, okay? So now... I have two minus one, which is one, four minus one, which is three, and my denominator stays the same. Okay, so I have one and three quarters left over. One and three quarters left over. Okay, so part two, we're gonna come over and we're gonna make it into dead man. So four times one is four, plus three is seven over four, divide that by one eighth. Now, because we're dividing, we're gonna go seven over four, keep, change, and flip, okay? So now, I can reduce going, four goes into four once and four goes into eight twice. And now that both the bottoms are ones, so I can't do anything else. I can't reduce anything else because I need a top and a bottom. So now 14, or sorry, seven times two is 14, and the bottom would be one, 14 pieces, okay? 14 pieces, okay? So you have part one and part two. Pause it, write down your work, show your work, okay? And know that when we're subtracting and we need to borrow, that we need to do this, okay? I used four, because my denominator was four. Yet when you're subtracting fractions, you need to have the um, same denominator. You need a common denominator, okay? So let's go on to number three. It says, Alex opens a one pint container of orange butter. He spreads 1 16th of the butter on his bread. Then he divides the rest of the butter into three quarter pint containers. How many three quarter pint containers can he fill? Well, he had one. And he subtracted 1 16th of that and then divided the rest into three quarter servings. Okay, two parts to this again. Okay, now see that one? I need to borrow it and make it into a fraction. So my denominator here is 16, so I'm going to put 16 over 16 because that's equal to 1 minus 1 over 16 because that didn't go anywhere. Okay. And now my denominator stays 16, because you have the same one all the way across, and 16 minus 1 is 15. So now I have 15 over 16 divided by 3 quarters, okay? So I'm going to keep, I'm going to change, and I'm going to flip, okay? Now, 3 goes into 3 once, and it goes into 15 five times. Okay, 16, or sorry, 4 goes into 16 four times, and it goes into 4 once. 
So now I have 5 over 4. Okay. Well, the top is bigger than the bottom. So how many times does 4 go into 5? It goes in one time. And then I would have 1 left over. And my denominator is 4. So So 1 and 1 quarter pint container. There we go. Okay. Okay. Pause it. Write down your work. Do whatever you need to do to get it there. Okay. Number four, you guys are going to do those yourselves. You totally can. Remember, there's two parts to these. Okay. You are also going to do the lesson check on the back, okay? We are going to go down and do the spiral review together. And we're going to start with number three. So the Lexus has 32 and two-fifths ounce of bread. How many, oh, beads. Sorry, not bread. It would be weird to make necklaces with bread. So Alexis has 32 and two-fifths ounces of beads. How many necklaces can she make if each bead uses two and seven tenths ounces of beads? So she has 32 and two fifths, okay? And she's dividing those up two and seven tenths. So we need to be able to do dead man. So over here, I'm gonna go 32 times five because I don't think very many of you know that off the top of your head. And Five times two is 10, carry our one. Five times three is 15, add one more, 160. Plus this two, okay? So 162 over my five. That didn't go anywhere, okay? Divided by 10 times two is 20, plus seven is 27. And I'm gonna put that over 10, okay? So now we are going to go and keep change. Oh, see, look at that. I did not change. Okay, multiply. And I'm going to flip. Okay, so now. 5 goes into 10, 5 goes into 5 once and into 10 twice. 27, I know you're not going to know this off the top of your head, but 27 goes into 27 once, it goes into 162 six times. Okay? So 6 times 2 is 12. That makes 12 necklaces. Okay? You can always. Do the division of 27 into 162, or you can use a calculator for that one, okay? There's no way we're going to know 27 multiples off the top of our head, okay? Okay, so we're going to go on to number four. Joseph has $32.40. He wants to buy several comic books that each cost $2.70. How many comic books can he buy? Well, first, I need to divide 32 dollars and 40 cents by two dollars and 70 cents but i can't have decimal places outside so i need to move that decimal place so now i have 32 40 divided by 270 okay so I'm over here to my scrap paper so i can fit in all of my work and i'm going to go by 270 Okay, so over on the side here, I'm going to go ahead and do 270 times 2. And get 540, and I don't think we'll have to go anywhere past that. Okay, so, all right, so 270 is not going to go into 3. It's also not going to go into 32, but it will go into 324, okay? Looks like one time when I subtract, I get 54. Oh, and look, when I bring down, because 54 is less than 270, when I bring down, 
that other zero, then 270 times two is 540. Okay, so now he can buy 12 comic books. Okay, pause it, write down your work, show your work. Okay. Okay, we're going to go on to number five. A rectangle is two and four six meter wide and three and a half meters long. What is its area? Okay, so the area of a rectangle, I'm sorry, of a rectangle, okay, is length times width. Okay, so two and four fifths wide and three and a half long, okay? So we need to turn those into improper fractions, to multiply them. So I'm gonna go five times two is 10, plus four is 14. Keep my denominator times two times three is six, plus one more is seven, and keep my denominator, okay? Now, I know that two goes into two once and two goes into seven, or sorry, 14, seven times. So now I have seven times seven, which is 49, over five. Okay, so I need to know how many times five goes into 49, and I know that nine times five is 45. Then I would have four left over, and my denominator is five. Now, I will show you guys really fast how I did that. Okay, five goes into 49, nine times. That's 45 subtract and I get four, okay? Now, nine, four, and my denominator stays the same, which is always the dividend, okay? All right, guys. So, its area is nine and four-fifths meters squared, okay? You can also write m squared for meter squared area you're multiplying meters times meters so it's meters squared okay all right a rectangle is 2.8 meters wide and 3.5 meters long what is the area so we're looking for area again okay so it's 2.8 times 3.5 okay whatever it is it's going to be in meters squared Okay, so five times eight is 40. Zero down, carry your four. Five times two is 10 plus four, 14. Okay, now tick, tack, toe. Three times eight, 24. Four down, carry your two. Three times two is six plus two more is eight. Add them up, drop your zero, eight nine but you went in one two places you need to go in one two places so 9.8 because you don't have to put that last zero you can it doesn't hurt anything meters squared okay pause write down your work do whatever you need to do make that happen okay all right guys thanks for hanging out for 2.10 come on back for chapter three see you soon